Jesus, thank See, you. <laughs> we, we for so long have believed that maybe it's his will that we be sick. It's not his will. Something I gotta tell you tonight. I think the hardest thing for us to believe is that God can heal us. We, it's easy for us to believe He's gonna heal somebody else, but not us. Because we think maybe we're not worthy, or maybe He just wants us this way to teach us a lesson. A few days ago, I was praying. And I was asking God to do something for me. And I saw the Lord. I promise you, I saw the Lord standing in that room and I saw tears falling down his face. And it puzzled me. I thought, why? Why did I see that? It's not often I see such things. Why did I see that? Is he upset with me? Did I grieve him? And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, He's crying because you just can't receive. I said, Lord, it's so easy for me to believe for other people, but not myself. And the Lord said, That's why. I think sometimes we grieve his heart when we think somebody else can get it, but not us. Lift your hands and say, I know you love me. I know you love me. And I know you'll heal me. I don't have to stay sick. I don't have to ever be sick. Never. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, he took, he took that sickness. I've been doing something lately by myself. I had not done it in all the years I've been preaching. You know, well, you know what the Lord said to me to do, to start doing? Have communion by myself. I understand Smith Wigglesworth used to have communion every day of his life. Gary, I was in Africa. And I said to somebody, I said, get me quickly some juice and some bread. I have never had communion by myself. I always had it in church and I got down on my knees in my room in Johannesburg first time Steve and when I touched that bread my whole body began to shake I did not feel his presence till I touched that bread and I said Jesus your body was broken for me you know why the Lord led me to do that because when you have it with people around you you're, you're praying kind of together and you're not thinking about you you're thinking about us when I said your body was broken and suddenly I realized I'm alone it's for me and I began to shake from the top right to the bottom of my feet you gotta understand he died for her he took her diseases so she doesn't have to have them again. Give him a mighty hand of praise. You deserve the glory. Yeah. Before the service, I, have a, I had to have a heart. Something was wrong with my, heart, my valve, and my heart was closed. I had to take two nitroglycerins before the service. I don't have any pain in my heart. I don't have any adrenaline, but I think I got it back. And I know. God is giving you a new heart, lady. Never again will that valve misfunction. Never again will that valve malfunction. Never again will it. In Jesus' name, there'll be no more trouble with that valve. Father God, a brand new heart, 
a brand new valve and a brand new lady in Jesus name and the people of God said Pastor, come on give the Lord a great hand of praise